right, how, how are you guys doing? doing very well. Thank you. It's a smart money time. Uh, if I'm being smart with my money, am I happy with where that Wall Street's going today? Well, today we got, we're up a little bit. We finally have a little bit of consumer spending increasing. Uh, as we talked about last segment, consumer spending accounts for 70% of the economy. The spending increased a little bit from last month, and it was revised upwards. So it looks like people are feeling a little bit better about the economy or about their situation. People are spending. We like to see it. And I think it, uh, it's sort of pushing maybe earnings might be a little bit better than expected, too. So that's really what's going to move the market this week. You know, and how early, uh, when is too early to start saying it looks like it's going to be a great holiday season? I mean, as we move into the, <laughs> you know, the end of the year, that's when a lot of retail people have the bulk of their business. It really is. It depends on the number of uh, shopping days as well. But you don't really know. This is a, definitely a good start because if people feel good this early, we're hoping that it'll push through into the holiday shopping season. You don't really know until you get closer. We need to see what the unemployment numbers are, jobless numbers. That's how people feel. They look at the housing starts. They look at the number of real estate going up or down because people look at their wallets based on their home values, their 401ks. That's called the wealth effect. If people feel better about what's going on around them, then they go out and they spend money. So come October, November, we get the election behind us. Uh, maybe some retail sales increase a little bit more. We get property values not at least going down anymore. Their 401ks can push up a little bit. They feel better. They're going to get out there and spend some money. And that's what they're going to be looking for towards the holiday season. Okay. Can we step away from practical for a minute? I have kind of a big picture question that I've been wondering about as I've been watching the news. The last time we had unemployment numbers, uh, they were surprisingly good. And there were a lot of people saying, well, they're, they're Jimmy in those numbers to make it look good with an election coming up. How manipulatable, how reliable are the unemployment numbers that we get? Well, we want to think they're reliable. The funny thing is, Unemployment numbers are based on a survey of 60,000 phone calls. It's not like they're actually looking at payroll data that they could get from the economy or from uh, employers every day. They're actually calling 60,000 people saying, hey, you're working and you're not working. Huh. So they're not exactly the most reliable source. But I don't think, you know, I don't want to play the conspiracy theory. I'd hate to think that that's what's going on and that's what pushes our electoral system on our political system. You know, you, you got to take a little wink after the last month, you know, 7.8% down from 8.1, yet you don't see any push up in, in employment. But, you know, it's tough to take the conspiracy theory. You really want to believe that the economy is at least on firmer footing. Are we, are we booming again? No, but at least it looks like things were a little bit stronger, a little bit better. Really, next month is going to tell the difference. Uh, you know, hopefully people haven't made their decision yet, but we need to see the employers start to hire people, and that's going to give people uh, a better feeling, that wealth effect, and, you know, without playing conspiracy theory, we want to believe they're real. This is America, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you know, I knew you would have the answer to how that works. And so thank you very much. Uh, Smart Money with Keith Great Springer. If you have any questions for Keith, send an email to money at fox40.com. You can call him up at 925-8900. I'll highly recommend just going to his website to get a lot more information. It's keithspringer.com. If you search Keith Springer on uh, fox40.com, we'll get you linked right over to his website. Yeah, you can sign up for his newsletter as well. Time to check in with Sheldon Orvis in the Atlantis Reno Traffic Center. Thank you.